Cygnus the Amazing Celestial Swan. Welcome to Stargazers. I'm Dean Regis, astronomer from the Cincinnati Observatory. And I'm James Albury, director of the Kika Silva Plaw Planetarium in Gainesville, Florida. Now that autumn has begun in the Northern Hemisphere, it's time to say farewell to the constellations that kept us company all summer long. That's right, James. And one of the most beloved of these constellations is Cygnus the Swan. Even from brightly lit cities, this is a constellation that's easy to find. But did you know that Cygnus has both a poetic and a scientific history that rivals many of the constellations we can see? Let's show you. Okay, we have our skies set for just after sunset any night this week. Almost directly overhead, you can see the familiar stars of the Summer Triangle. Vega, the brightest star in Lyra the Harp, Altair, the brightest star in Aquila the Eagle, and Deneb, the brightest star in Cygnus the Swan. Cygnus the Swan has been an area of fascination for storytellers and astronomers alike for thousands of years. To find the swan, simply draw a line from Deneb inward toward the center of the Summer Triangle. The first star you'll encounter is Seder. This marks the heart of the swan. Then if you draw lines to the west and east of this star, you'll find two more stars. These mark the right and left wings of the swan. Going back to the star Seder, we continue to draw a line outward to form the neck of the swan, ending at the star Alberia. In one legend, Cygnus the swan is said to be the great musician Orpheus, who was transformed into a swan and placed in the sky next to his harp, the constellation Lyra. In another legend, Cygnus is said to be Zeus when he transformed himself into a swan to seduce Leda, the queen of Sparta, who also happened to be the mother of Helen of Troy, Clymenestra, and the Gemini twins, Castor and Pollux. However, in modern times, Cygnus has turned out to be a place of great discoveries. During a rocket flight in 1964, a galactic X-ray source known as Cygnus X-1 was discovered. Cygnus X-1 is now widely accepted to be a candidate for the first black hole we've discovered, and it's estimated to have a mass almost 15 times the mass of our Sun, yet an event horizon radius of only about 16 miles. In more recent times, Cygnus has been the target of study by NASA's Kepler Space Telescope. The Kepler Telescope studied over 100,000 stars in Cygnus. Its goal was to find planets orbiting other stars. And since its mission began, thousands of these extrasolar planets have been discovered and confirmed. The planet Kepler 22b was announced as being the first Earth-like planet orbiting a Sun-like star. Kepler 22b is over 600 light years away and orbits in the habitable zone where liquid water can exist. With a possible surface temperature of near 73 degrees Fahrenheit, Kepler 22b is quite the Goldilocks planet, if I do say so myself. And speaking of planets, if you ever get lost on Mars, Deneb is the North Star on Mars. We never really think about it, but each of the planets has a different North Star or has no North Star at all. All the planets in our solar system rotate on an axis. The direction the axis points with respect to the plane of the solar system determines the angle of axial tilt. Our Earth is tilted 23 and a half degrees with respect to the plane of our solar system. Mars tilts at 25 degrees and Saturn has a tilt of almost 27 degrees. However, compare that with Mercury and Jupiter which barely tilt at all, between two and three degrees respectively. Yet at the other extreme, you have Venus, which is practically upside down at 177 degrees, and Uranus, which lies on its side at 98 degrees. So since every planet tilts in a different direction, each planet should have a different North Star, or no North Star at all. So that's why our North Pole is pointing near Polaris, and Mars is pointing near Deneb. So if you ever get lost on Mars, look for Cygnus the Swan, and you'll find North. Well, there you have it, the amazing celestial swan Cygnus. And it's all up there for you to see if you remember to keep looking up.